What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a shaking blur transition in Premiere Pro. So here we are in Premiere Pro, I have the same two clips you saw at the beginning, two waves. So this is what you have to do, have your clips right next to each other and then come to the center of them. From there select your left clip and come back five keyframes. So you can use the left arrow on your keyboard or select this button here and just go back five. From there press C on your keyboard and press the left click here. Now we're going to go to the clip on the right from the center and we're going to go forward five frames. So again you can use the right arrow on your keyboard or you can select this button. One, two, three, four, five. Press C on your keyboard, left click and split it right there. So then now we have these two little sections in the middle and this is what we're going to be creating the transition with. Now just to point out, I know I have done a 5 keyframe gap, you can make this less or you can make it more, it's completely optional, it depends how quick or how slow you want this transition to happen. So now what we're going to be doing is coming to the left clip here and what we're going to do is simply zoom in. So come up to the effects controls, come to scale and I'm going to bring mine up by 10, so from 100 I'm going to bring it to 110. Now I'm going to come to position and toggle the animation. I'm going to press this button here which then allows me to move it around by clicking on the screen. So the first one I'm going to keep at default but I'm just going to come across and I'm going to move this a little bit. I'm going to come across one frame, I'll move it down this time, I'll go across another frame and I'll move this one up and this is all you have to do, this is just creating the screen shake part. Then we come to the right clip and we do the exact same thing. So you can see the scale for this is already set to 150 by default and the reason for that if I put that to 100 this is the original size of the video so putting it to 150 puts it fitting it to this scale. So with that being said I'm going to put this to 160 then I'm going to toggle the position use the motion and simply come across and move this around. Now the important thing for this one, on the last keyframe we're going to set it back to normal, so press reset parameter. As you'll see that frame has just been created to put everything back to normal and it's important you do that. So now this is what we have. You can see it's more of just a shake transition, so if you want to know how to make a shake transition, there you go. But the next thing of course is adding on the blur. So for this I'm going to be adding on an adjustment layer. So right click in your project, select new item and select adjustment layer. Make sure the width and height and time base matches your video, select OK. Drag and drop this above and you want to time this up to the part where you have them two little clips right here. So now I'm going to be heading over to the effects, coming over to video effects, blur and sharpen and now from here you can pick which one you want. Now personally I think Gaussian Blur and Directional Blur are going to be the best ones. You can choose which one you think is best but I'm going to be using Gaussian for this one. I'm going to drag and drop it onto the adjustment layer and all I'm going to do is come to the blurriness and bring this all the way up. So as you can see the video has now become blurry. Now what you will also notice is that these edges have become a bit black like a vignette. All you need to do to fix that is select Repeat Edge Pixels. As you can see it gets rid of it. Now toggle the animation on blurriness, as you can see right in the center, this is now right in the middle what we want to. However you want to drag the cursor to the start and you want to put the blurriness to zero. And then the same for the very end, you want to put the blurriness to zero. And now this is the transition completed. So if I just go through it frame by frame, it's going to shake, it's going to blur and it's going to come back to normal like that. So playing it through, that's how it will look. You can see it's pretty simple to do and it looks quite nice. Once again, you can see it is quite a fast shake. Uh, to change the shake speed, of course the keyframes I put between splitting the clips, I said 5, you can probably go up to 15 maximum, otherwise then it would start looking a bit more slow. But you can experiment with it. But that's how simple it is to create a shaking blur transition in Premiere Pro.